I went to Res and today is Tuesday and usually Tuesday is a swim about 1500 yards and today I did the swim in 35 minutes so I'm getting better I'm improving at the swim and after that I went to the track to meet the Cajun Roadrunner Club uh, Zodico training group at the UL track and I did some speed work there and I did four 400s at about a seven minute pace and so far I don't at, at first I felt a little of the plantar fasciitis I've been dealing with in the left foot but it's getting a lot better it's been over two weeks now and I got the boot strap thing that you wear to bed that you can get at Walgreens or whatever drugstore. So I've been wearing that to bed and it's helping. And I also got uh, the stick and rolling it on my back uh, calf, rolling it all along the back calf. And that also helps with plantar fasciitis. Uh, otherwise, right now, I'm not in my official training for the uh, Galveston Half Ironman. Half Ironman. Uh, that official training starts in toward the last week of December. Around the last week of December, the official training starts for the Half Ironman, and I will be doing a lot of videos of logging that whole training process uh, telling you how I feel uh, telling you the good the bad the ugly being brutally honest about the training um, let's face it some days we don't feel like going out there and doing anything we just want to watch a movie or live a normal life do normal things there's some days we just don't want to do it uh, however we do have to do it, uh, or you'll pay the price on race day. Um, the other thing that has happened is uh, I got I got braces, and it's weird having braces in your mouth, and you're like, why, Parker? Why would you get braces? You're not a teenager, so. Good question. I'm glad you asked. Uh, well, my dentist told me that he cannot fix my forefront teeth, which are very thin, and can't cannot put veneers on them or fix them until my overbite, my back, my bottom teeth are pushed back. That's why. So I said, I have to get braces, really? Uh, so, biting the bullet, got the braces, learning how to talk with the braces in. But, good news is, the braces do not affect my running speed, my biking speed, or swimming speed. At first, I was worried about that. Maybe the, the braces would slow me down. They don't. So, that's what I've been up to. It is October the 7th. We're already in October. And we need another cool front to hit. We just had one this past weekend which felt great. We need another one. All of us runners uh, love the, those cold fronts. Uh, it just makes you run a little bit faster. So... That's it. I'm mean, I'm having to do my video on the uh, the iPhone because my other camera, the battery is uh, on my the battery it needs charging, so got to charge my batteries up for the other camera. Anyway, still doing good with the. Uh, partial paleo diet is going good. I've stuck to it. Today I had a salad, a chicken salad from Subway. 
That's my favorite. I love I love the chicken salads. I also love the salads from Zeus. I love a good Zeus salad. Love them. Uh, about once a week, I gotta have it. So, doing good with that. Uh, I want to say congratulations to all my fellow buddies that competed in the Sugar Man and had a good race. Good job. Uh, I would also like to end this video and say if you have not signed up for the Zotico Marathon, you need to do it now before the price goes up again later on. So just you, you know what? If you sign up now, that is motivation. You spent the money. That's motivation to train. Because you're committed. You need to commit. So sign up. Next video, I'm going to talk about motivation for, for training and motivation in general. Because I recently wrote a blog post on motivation and I'm going to talk about staying motivated. Have a good one. Have fun in the run.